The 2013 California Circuit year is nearly coming to a close. With only a month left of competition, the California Circuit comes to Ventura, California this weekend. I'm going to catch up with some of the Cowboys and Cowgirls who maybe already made the California Circuit Finals, are hoping to make it, or even are still hoping to make the NFR. I'm here with WPRA member Ann Scott, and we're here at Ventura Rodeo, and she's just getting ready, uh, getting started for the rodeo. Um, what do you feel like? I mean, last last weekend you had a little bit of tough luck, but you're coming into another one. Um, what's your feelings here at Ventura? Uh, you know, I've always liked this rodeo. The ground's not the best, but, you know, it's a little hard, but it's not slick or dangerous. And, uh, yeah, I, I, didn't, I had a little bad luck last uh, rodeo at Santa Barbara. We hit a barrel, but... You know, that happens sometimes, and you just got to get past it and go on to the next one. Very cool. So you're going to the circuit finals in a couple months, and last year you had some luck, but maybe not. I don't know. You've been going to the circuit finals for a couple years. What's it been like for you in the past, and, and what are you hoping for this year? Uh, well, last year my horse slipped and fell at the third barrel, so, you know, I guess... That happens too, but uh, the second round I won, and the third round I was second place. So my horse is working real good, and uh, and I love going to the circuit finals every the last couple of years. It's been it's been really good. So you mentioned your horse is working really good, and you worked good at the circuit finals last year. Uh, tell us a little bit about your horse. I know he's a homegrown, and he's you know part of the family. Tell us about him. He is. Um, I was there when he was born, and uh, you know I watched him take his first breath, and I trained him on barrels myself, and he's just been a very special horse to me. He's probably my once-in-a-lifetime special horse. We're very excited for you, and we wish you the best of luck today, and hope you and Buzz have a good run. So I'm here with Lane Santos Carney, and Lane, you just came, drove all night to get here. To, um, so glad you, you know, stopped a second to talk to us. And um, what was that? Where'd you come from? And uh, are you excited to be here? We started Thursday, went to Grass Valley, California, and then we went to uh, Hoopa, an amateur, another amateur rodeo. Went up to Klamath Falls, Oregon, for a pro rodeo, and then we went to Wairika for an amateur rodeo last night, and drove down here all night. Happy to be here, yeah. So you're truly on the rodeo road. Uh, what's it like coming to Ventura? You said you came here last year. Are you, you know, glad to be here at this rodeo? Is it, what is it for you? Yeah, it's a really cool rodeo. It's a circuit rodeo out here in California, and it's so cool because out there where we're parked, I can throw a rock and hit the ocean, and it's a nice beach, and so it's, it's kind of nice to be able to, and it's two headers, so we have to hang out here for a while in between our runs, so it kind of gives you an excuse to hang out by the beach and rope, yeah. Very cool. So we might see you surfing later? Uh, probably not surfing, but I, yeah, I'm going to walk the beach, yeah. All right, sounds good. Uh, so you mentioned the circuit. You are only a month out from the circuit finals or from the last date um, to qualify. Where are you sitting this year? I'm fifth in the calf roping right now, and uh, I'm probably like 20th in the team roping right now. So you made it last year to the circuit finals and had some success. And um, what are you hoping for this year? Well, I won fourth last year at the circuit finals, but I qualified a lot lower. I think I qualified 11th maybe out of 12. So this year already it feels better to be in the top five, I guess. And, um, you know, get to go to the circuit finals is cool. You get to go against – I get to go rope against guys that have made the NFR that live out here, guys that I've looked up to since I was little. And I'm learning a lot from them even though I get to compete against them. I'm learning a lot just from being around them. So you moved up really well last year, and hopefully you can do that again. You're already up in the standings. What would it be like for you to make the Ram National Circuit Finals rodeo? be awesome you know it's a, it's a great opportunity that they provide for the circuit guys to go and get to compete on a national level so it's pretty good for guys that don't have the opportunity to go qualify for the national finals rodeo right now and it's a, it's a cool opportunity it's a great rodeo well we wish you the best of luck with that tell us a little bit about your herd what horses are you on and, and are they did they go with you all weekend and and uh, just tell us about your horses right now the head horse i'm riding i'm i turned 21 yesterday and he's 22 or 23 he's older than i am and i rode him at the college finals two years ago and won around on him and he won horse of the year and uh my calf horse i made him my grandpa got him when he was four rode him at salinas when he was four in the gold card team roping and i uh, just been a heel horse and the first rodeo i took him to was my senior year state finals made nationals on him and it's just worked out. Sounds like a good herd, uh, like you're mounted pretty well. So what are you up in today? Today I'm in the team roping, tie down roping today. And who are you roping with? Roping my little brother. It's his first year on his permit, and it's been good. We won right at Rica last night, so it's been good. It's been fun to rope with him. Again, we roped in high school. We'll get to rope in college next year, so I'm excited. Very cool. Well, we, we wish you both the best of luck today, and thanks for catching up with us. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. Cotton Rosser, who's put producing this rodeo, correct? Yeah, yes, I've been producing it for, oh, 
Oh, golly. Since 1968, and Andy Harrigi produced it then, back in the 40s. In fact, I even won the saddle bronc riding here in 1947, and they honored me here last Saturday at Grand Marshal, and I had my buckle on, champion bronc rider, when I was going to Cal Poly, 1947. Yeah. So I've been around here a long time. Very cool. And what's it like coming? You go to a lot of rodeos all through California, but I guess this one kind of has a lot of history for you, would you say? Well, yes. It's always been PRCA, RCA. Might even been a turtle rodeo back in the, before I can remember, before 1940. But it's been a good rodeo. A lot of cowboys came from this country, Santa Paula. All the Yanuses, all the uh, Andy Harrigi's family came from Santa Paula. And, and this has really been a cowboy town. And right off of Ventura, you have the Channel Islands, Santa Rosa. They brought all those cattle in from Santa Rosa. He's to unload them out here in the ocean and swim them into the off of barges from Santa Rosa Island. Well, that would have been cool to see. Uh, what other rodeos are you going to this year, and where have you been? Well, I, I've been everywhere. <laughs> I like that song, Where You Been? I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. Oh, that's what you're playing, for Christ's sake. <laughs> but anyway, in the next two weeks, we go to the biggest two-day rodeo in the world, the San Juan Capistrano, the PRCA. It's kind of the, we have the top 30 cowboys. It's the second largest, third largest rodeo in the world per day. National finals is first, and I think uh, Cody Wyoming are second, and then San Juan Capistrano. That's per performance. And believe it or not, we have the top 30 contestants, only one like it. We have rope and shoot at one end and bulldog and shoot at the other end. We have buck and shoots on both ends. We bring in Mike Servey and, and Donnie Hutzel stock along with Rosser Rodeo and Fly New Rodeo. So that's one, that's the daddy of them all. And then, of course, we finish up at the Cow Palace in the fall. And then the national finals. Oh, we just go all year long. Well, good. Glad to see you uh, staying on the road, and uh, so glad to catch up with you. Thank you so much for your time, Thank and you. we hope it's a good rodeo for you. So I'm here with Steve Yost, a PRCA judge, and you're judging here at Ventura. What's it like to be here at Ventura? You said you've been here quite a few years. Uh, I like it because of the ocean's right here, and it's nice and cool, nice breeze, and uh, it's a good rodeo. Yeah. What makes you come back and say yes every every year? Uh, pays pretty good to judge it. <laughs> there you go. Always good to follow the money. Yeah. Gotta have a little money. Yeah. Where uh, where have you been lately, and where do you head next? Uh, I was in Spanish Fork, Utah last month, and Castledale, uh, Utah, and heading to uh, Tatchby and Norco. Perfect. So you got a full weeks. schedule. Yep. Pretty much. Do you? What about your involvement with the circuit finals? You've judged the last two years, and you might judge this year. What's it like being involved with the circuit finals, the California circuit finals? Uh, they have a good rodeo there. They really do. The committee works hard, and they get good sponsors, and they get good money, and they get really good crowds, and it's an excellent rodeo and showcase uh, California cowboys. What would you say about the competition at the circuit finals? You know, it's supposed to be bringing the best of the guys in California. Would you say they live up to that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have good bucking stock there. They had some good rides last year, good bareback rides and good bull rides, and had some really good times in the team roping and barrel racing, too. Yeah. Very cool. Well, hope you enjoy yourself today and enjoy the You're beach. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect. I'm here with Mason Malone, PRCA calf roper, or tie down roper, and steer wrestler. Uh, what do you like about coming to Ventura Rodeo, Mason? Oh, it's right here by the beach, and it's two head. We get to run. We get to run two steers or two calves for, you know, we get to stay here all weekend, and it's just a really nice place to be. So you were up yesterday and today, and how's it going so far? Well, yesterday I was up in the tie-down roping, and I, I won second in the first round, and hopefully I'll get something in the average, but I won't find that out. I won't find out about that until tonight. Very cool. Well, good luck with that. So you've been entering the California rodeos and the tie-down roping for the past few years and making the circuit finals and everything. What is it like entering a new event? Is it just the same thing, or, or just tell us about that? Well, I picked up steer wrestling in, in May of this year, and this Ventura is, uh, will be my 12th rodeo this year. And I've been having a lot of fun. It's, an ex it's, ex it's exciting, and it, it's a, definitely an adrenaline rush compared to, you know, the cap rope and it's a lot it's a lot more fun very cool and what's it le looking like for the circuit finals for you this year well i need to win about 800 or a thousand more at the next two rodeos i'm going to be going to tachapi and norco and hopefully if i can place at those i'll make it to the circuit finals 
Well, very cool. We wish you the best of luck with that, and hopefully you will get to make it. And thank you so much for talking to me. Oh, no problem. Thank you. So we're with Ann Scott again, and Ann, you just ran, and tell us a little bit how it went. It looked good to us, but what did you think? I thought my horse worked really well. It was pretty close to a perfect run. The ground was great. The committee did a good job of getting the ground. It's the best I've ever seen this year, so I'm really excited. Very cool, and we heard you're sitting first, and we hope that holds. Yeah, there's one more performance tonight, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, cool. Well, congrats, and hopefully you do win. Thank you. Well, Flying U, the PRCA, and the WPRA put on another great rodeo. Reporting from Ventura, California, I'm Carol Ann Scott.